Hey, what's up everybody? So, this video is all about the Jackery. Uh, this is the 500 watt one. So, here's the thing. The only reason you're watching this video is because you're researching it or you're just loyal and you're watching every video I upload, like my nieces. But for those who don't know what a Jackery is, basically you can take this camping, you can take this on road trips. You could do whatever you want. You could be in the woods on your laptop, have a good power source. So here's the thing. A lot of videos I found on YouTube before I got this about the Jackery had a couple things in common. They would be, how long does a Dometic fridge last on a 500 watt Jackery power supply? Or can you grill stuff with the Traeger Ranger? So like, not everybody overlands. Uh, some people just camp and some people don't even camp and some people road trip. Anyway, I just wanna know, like, yeah, when you press this, it spins up its little fans. Also, there's a flashlight here. If you want a flashlight review, different video in the past. Anyway, all I'm saying is like, like a hairdryer. Can you run a hairdryer off this? Like camera batteries. Like I want to see some more practical day-to-day -day stuff. This piano, like what stuff that maybe non-campy people would want or I mean, what are some out of the box things that like campy people might want to take? like a keyboard. So basically that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run around plugging stuff into this and I'll just show you what the wattage is with each thing and if it can handle it. And it's gonna be super quick, so hang on. Anyway, I really set myself up for the keyboard thing, so I'm gonna start with the keyboard. Just a reminder, when you have the AC, you're already plugging three watts. So, you know, we got three watts here. I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna power this on. What do we got? Four watts. Six watts. So next up, because I talked about a hairdryer, uh, sorry to my wife who doesn't know this is missing yet. And here we go. Uh, we're gonna start with cool. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna bump it up a notch. This is warm. Look at that increase. And here goes warm. Oh, what happened? Oh, snap. That didn't work. So pretty much you just see how that shut off like that. Didn't even have a fighting chance. So sad. So is the Jackery ruined? No, it just, it's a safety shut off thing. Cool? Yeah, you can do cool. You might be able to do warm. You're definitely not gonna be able to do hot. Actually, I don't even know if you could, I don't know like how long you could even do warm. But cool, you should be fine with cool. Look, I know you're concerned, but. This is still working just fine. Well, that was extremely fun. Now we're gonna try, uh, this is an A7 battery. So like Sony A7. 8 watts, 24 watts, 23 watts. Full disclosure, we're like 75% on this battery. So 23, 24 watts maybe. I don't know if it's faster when it's at the beginning, but we're at 22 watts now. It's even slowing down. So, I mean, it'll cover your batteries for your camera. Now we're trying something a little bit different here. Ooh, wires. F7 battery. So that's like more of a a filmmaking camera. I mean, okay, don't hate me. You can make films with anything. So we're getting like 47, 48. It's charging now. 47, 48, 47, 48. So, I mean, yeah, you should be able to charge it. Do the math. So in the studio at my workplace, we have these stretch things around standard truss they create ambiance as back studio backdrop kind of stuff. So each one of these has like an LED light, then it goes into a power strip. I'm plugging this in and we'll see how that works. So at the base of the truss, you can see, you know, just standard like LED stuff going into those guys. Okay. So, so here we go. And I'm gonna just turn that on. 
Powers them on just great. 20 watts for all three of them. Meaning uh, 17 watts, so divide that by three. And that's per light. You could have a lot of these ambient lights. You could probably power a bunch more. So yeah, uh, it looks cooler when the light main lights are off. I'm not really sure if this is what you're using for your campsite ambiance, but you know, it could work. So for sure, by all means, like, uh, can you imagine, you know, taking truss camping? So here's an interesting one. Like, what about these guys? Like, can I power these? So behind here is the confusion of cables and it's all plugged into this. Um, we would fire it up by flipping this switch. That would power all four lights. Gonna unplug this first. Then I'm gonna plug it in here. Uh, let's go ahead and power this on. And then I'm gonna hit this. Now remember these lights are gonna have like modeling lights. So wish me luck. So does it work with that many lights? It does not. Let's take it down to one light. Works great with normal power. It was just the lights weren't comfortable with that. Um, I'm gonna unplug this and plug it into one. And this is why four lights wouldn't work on it because it's 129 watts per strobe. So I'm gonna like, okay, it goes up when you flash it. So I think in a pinch it would work. I don't think it would be the, like, you could rely on it in a pinch. And I mean, what kind of lights are these? Calumet Genesis 200. So we're not talking very, very huge or anything. These are uh, basic and also Calumet, you remember them? I miss them. <laughs> Oh, hey, um, yeah, all right, let's do one here. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. Here's a, a, a Bosch charger, so Bosch charger. Plug this in. Oh, I'll find a battery, that needs to be. This one needs to be charged. Let's power it up. Okay, here we go. Should be charging now. 27, 34, 33, 34 on the Bosch charger, which powers these guys. So you're on the way to a job site, your commute's an hour. It's a long commute. How long is it gonna charge? I don't know. It's a topic for another video. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know, let's go. So here's a situation here. Never find yourself in. Uh, oh, I need to judge my phone. Okay. Turn it on. Fire it on. iPhone 12 Pro, whatever. So, there you go. 10 watts. So, we could easily power three of these. Okay, so what about this? plus a splitter. That hardly draws anything. We're still at three watts. Now I put a splitter in here because I'm going to plug in a 50 inch Vizio. We're at 11 watts now. Before I add anything to that, I'm gonna power it on. It's on. Now I'm gonna add an Apple TV. So we're at 70 watts now. Can't connect to Apple TV. It's gonna have to restart now because I just unplugged it. So I'm gonna go over here to YouTube. It was pulling there as a power draw. 
Apparently the Jeep was my most popular video. What I mean by boring is it's not actually boring, it's just not the Rubicon, which okay. is the upper level, upper level thing. So we're pulling in a 111 watts right now. All right, Peter, quiet. So 50 inch modern display with Apple TV, 111 to 112 using the internal audio. Can you power a TV and Apple TV at the same time with this? Yes, you can, but make sure to get some type of uh, splitter thingy. So, imagine the power goes off. What happens to everything in here? Can the Jackery 500 power a basic fridge freezer setup? Now we know all the Dometic people are like, yeah, yeah. What about the normal people that have normal fridges in their house versus like live out of their car? Okay, so here we go. Let's try it. Can it power it? Can it power it? Also, can you see this? 251. Four watt, 36 watt, 48. Nope, they can't. So, maybe I'll have to get a Dometic fridge after all. So I think I fried the freezer, but I don't know. So, don't try that. Um, okay, so yeah, you know that leave meeting vi uh, shirt I had that was like selling on Cotton Bureau? I sold some other shirts, but like in the ones and twos, so not very many, but I, came up with this new design here so if you want to like buy it cool it kind of can support my channel here if you don't want to buy it you know i don't care but i'm just letting you know there's a new shirt design link in the bio back to video Whoo! i was sweating bullets on that one see i took out my sweater i'm just like soaked right now i thought we had lost the fridge and i was gonna have to explain that and that would have been weird and just save yourself the heartache. Don't plug a normal fridge into that. Maybe a thousand watt one works fine. But that one sure didn't. And yeah, I just basically unplugged it, plugged it back in, waited a bit, prayed about it. Anyway, I'm just like, I'm just like, uh. Okay, here's a random interlude to a different part of the house where I have some of my, uh, works um, 20 volt power share batteries plugging it in these ones may be fully charged i don't think so but they're like probably 98 percent what are we at here 48 70 93 97 98 so yeah can it charge your works power tools for like your wind blower thing or your hedge trimmer sure of course it can okay so like wow this is a bunch of junk this is a bunch of junk chargers stuff we're gonna kind of do a blazing fast view of the, how much this is how much this is how much that is how much is that is so just just watch okay uh, another light, supposedly UV. Bam, it's powered on. Okay, what do we got? 25 watts. Yeah, so right off. Bam, way more powerful. This is basically the same as running all three of those uh, lights that were in the trusses. This is like a great streaming light. It's by LumaCube. It's that little kit that you can like set up on either the desk that you're working at or there's like a clippy thing that clips on the back of your laptop i don't think the power draws very much here but we're get about to find out this is probably great for camping because i mean obviously you're going to be like at zoom meetings while you're camping boom this is usb powered uh usb c powered so power it up and we can see here five watts Okay, now we're going a little meta. Here's a anchor chargey thing, and we're gonna charge a chargey thing with a chargey thing. 
And here we go. A power bank, you know, 10 watts. Or if you can see it better this way, 10 watts. So if you're looking to power a power bank with a power bank, 10 watt draw. Next, I'm clearing all this off because that's just stressful to look at. <clears throat> oh. Here's a fun one. DJI, uh, this is already almost all charged anyway. Turn this one off, turn this one on. And here we go, what's a draw? Wait for it, oh my word. So for this, 53 watts. Sorry, 57 watts, oh, 56, 55, 56. It's very, what, 66, 67? Well, that's a, that's a fun power draw. This, this one's all over the place. Uh, this is for the Mavic Pro. Uh, it's an older one. Here we go. Uh, this is a Kindle Fire. Um, a couple generations old. What do we got? Here we go, five watts. Kindle Fire, five watts. So while we're using this micro USB, this is a Bose Bluetooth yoke. I don't know whatever you call them, but from a little while back. One watt, wait for it. Is that all? That's all I guess, one watt. It's pretty good. Kind of like the keyboard when it wasn't being played. Speaking of Bose, here's another old one. This is another noise, noise cancellation set. Um, these are like the earbud versions. Again, power draw for these guys, one watt. So you might remember from a previous video and I reviewed these Fenix flashlights. It's using USB-C, but just so you don't have to click back. I mean, you can watch it if you wanna know, but this is the PD36R. And we're gonna fire it up. Here we go, charging it at five watts and of course this beast the uh, lr40r which is already been replaced by a you know, 50r here we go six watts 10 watts it's a crazy flashlight insane so one more pair of headphones uh these are the soundcore third q30 i don't know they're the current soundcore headphone thingies Q30. So Q30s are charging at one watt. Oh, here we go, three watts. So iPad, voila. Uh, this is a, one of the bigger, I think it's 12 inch. I don't remember what generation this is, but uh, 11 watts for the iPad. Charging my laptop, 16 inch MacBook Pro, 96 watts, 41 watts. 43 watts, 43. This one's kind of all over the place, so I guess I saw the peak was like 96 watts. Okay, story time. Uh, so I was visiting my folks in Tennessee, and they live in the mountains, and the power went out one day. My sister and her family were also visiting during that time, and the babies were asleep. So, fun fact, uh, when the white noise machines go, the babies go. And <laughs> so I ran and grabbed my Jackery, took the white noise machine, plugged it in, and babies went back to sleep. Also, I mean, we're hovering between zero and one watt here. So I don't know if it's like 0.5 and it kind of triggers the one occasionally. Super low draw. Probably overkill for a white noise machine, but it just goes to show you that having one of these is handy for whatever you need to plug into when the power just goes. So final little scenario. We're gonna plug this in here like this to start with. Uh, we're gonna stick in an older um, Apple laptop. Let's plug in this newer one that we just tried. We're gonna plug the DJI battery back in. And let's see, I'm gonna bring the iPad back for this. Plug that in. 
what else can we add here oh yeah yeah so the flashlight remember the flashlight with a little bit bigger bigger draw gonna plug that one in let's see I'm gonna just grab my iPhone plug it in and so we got like all the ports maxed out at this point here we go and we are 199 watts 197 I don't know if this is like more of a normal scenario I guess because you get to a campsite or you're on a road trip and you're trying to power a bunch of stuff in the car that's at full load with a bunch of random stuff that's not full load with the microwave because we're not trying that that's not full load with the refrigerator because definitely don't try that oh here we go we're at 230 so it's it's a constant fluctuation when you have that much stuff plugged in but it can handle it that being said the fan is running so you know gotta stay cool i guess so that dudes and dudettes is what a jackery can jack or in this case what the 500 watt jackery can do all right cool so like <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh subscribing and commenting or whatever you feel like doing hope this was helpful to you have a great week and uh take care of yourself